it's me, Fix It, with a brand new series, something that I'm looking very forward to doing on the channel. It's a tutorial series. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're jumping into building this house you see behind me today. It's a spruce starter house that I wanted to keep very simple. It got a little bit complicated, but I kept the details fairly low. So I hope you enjoy. Here, here we're gonna jump right in. You're gonna see block for block placement. If you wanna copy this in your own world, you can. It's a pretty cool build. I think I like it a lot. I hope you do as well. All right then, let's get right to it. So here is the basic shape and outline. You can grab a screenshot if you wanna follow along block for block or just watch for the basic concepts and ideas, okay? This doesn't belong there, get out of here, you. Okay, so so we're looking at a little balcony here, a little jut out there and kind of an L-shaped uh, uh, main build, right? So what we're gonna do is all these little jut outs, we're gonna replace this with spruce bark and we'll go up a, like from the base, so we're from this level, one, two, three, four, five six okay we'll go up six on all of these that's going to give us a nice little uh contrast to the basic uh palette which is going to be spruce and uh probably this white terracotta that i have so uh the palette that i'm looking at so to start with and this, this is always a uh, subject to change as we build but is uh is mainly spruce with a little bit of white terracotta i think that's going to be good and probably just knowing myself i'm probably going to end up putting in some dark oak in there as well i think those two colors work really nicely together so we'll just go connect all these because we're going exactly the same on all these now on this one over here we're gonna go a little shorter so this one's gonna go one two three four only four okay uh this is just gonna be a little bit of a tiny little roof we're gonna go right across there okay so that means this one here is gonna go all the way up gonna connect there oops <clears throat> but then here you're gonna come across like that and connect this okay this way we're gonna do this now one of the first things that I think we should do uh eh, we can connect this with that why not we'll just do two two beams by by themselves there one of the first things I, I like to do is when I get these little little guys sort of marked out is I like to do the roof almost immediately so we'll just go right here for roof and I'm not sure what this is gonna be let's go white across here so we'll just do little pyramid like that up on top of it okay and then, then going across here stair 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 and then stair 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 and this is where your spruce slabs come in for right now and you know we may change those out in, in the trim stage but for right now i think that's going to be an okay way to go and over there okay that's going to be good that gives us the roof obviously trim obviously other stuff coming but that gives us kind of a good idea of what is coming here okay over here we're going to go for right now let's go planks here one two three one two three and one two three and i think what we'll do is let's grab this one two three and one two three and then on the inside of this come right up okay that way we we know boom this is going to be a balcony now the next thing we gotta do is we already said what to do about this l shape I think maybe the first thing to do is actually going to be change it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is take out this, take out this pillar that we just did. Okay. We're going to move this over one. So we're going to come up from one over because that way this guy and this guy are going to connect and we can drag this right across there. I think that's a better look already. And that way we can actually get rid of this. And what we can do is we can bring this across here. There we go. Now we've solved that little problem. You know, this series is going to be part tutorial, uh, block for block, and part problem solving because that's the biggest part of building that I enjoy myself. Honestly, is problem solving. I really, really like that aspect of the game. So let's on this one. Let's see. We're going to come up from here because I want this to be flush against here. So we're going to go one, two, three, the whole way across the top of this. This is just going to be white, and not all these walls are going to be white for sure. So then we'll go one, two, three, and we're going to bring this right across to there okay that's good this one i think we'll do the same thing we'll do the same thing and i think maybe this could be spruce actually let's make this one a different so it's not all the same we'll go right across just like that and let's do spruce for the other wall as well that that should probably be the same okay good uh now we could make this a little bit different if we wanted to so different is good uh, I think all the time. Let's come out from this angle. Let's come out one and go one, two, three, and one, two, three, and go, uh, let's just go three over and go across, okay? Then we're going to do a little bit of a triangle right here, and that's an even number, which is totally, totally cool. So then we'll go here and here and here again just pointing out where the roof is it helps so much later on because that way you know where the walls need to be how high they need to be so this roof flows directly into the wall in my opinion i think that's the nicest way for that to work out so we'll just go white right up there and let's just go for now white right here so this is going to be just a nice little jut out 
uh, overhang there, but then we won't do an overhang in here. So that means this is actually going to have to come in as weird as that is. So let's do a floor. Let's do a second, a second story floor right here. Uh, even with the, even with the, the bark, the wood, um, yeah, if we just fill all this out, then I think that again is going to help us to know just how big this whole entire thing is going to be and how we can make interesting roof lines. You know, we can all do a really, really square house. We've all seen that a few thousand million times, right? It's, it's, I think it's a really nice thing to, to change your shape. I think that's a huge, huge, huge thing. So with that being said, that means we're going to take this because we're changing the shape. Now we're going to take this one down and we're going to do this. Okay, don't worry, we'll work this out later, but let's bring the white up here as well. Our white terracotta is so beautiful in this texture pack. I am using a texture pack for this. I thought a lot about it, whether I was gonna use a texture pack or whether I was gonna do vanilla. And as I'm fairly new, totally new to this uh, tutorial thing, I thought that probably I should just use, use our texture pack because I'm comfortable with it and I really know it really well. So this is the Little Taste of Vast in Texture Pack, which is available in my Discord if you wanna check it out. It's made by the, the great and wonderful Jermsey Boy, a good friend and, and a wonderful, wonderful texture pack maker okay so again now now we're getting into where we can build some really cool interior segments so if you see here's the shape as it stands right now you see what's going on all these different little intricacies and little interesting little things this one is down here and this one this cross beam is going to be up here i think that is going to be really cool i think it's really good to mix that up uh, I would not have done that a couple years ago, but that's the way I build now, and, and it's it's been uh, for the better. So now, we don't want to go more white because it's going to be overkill on white. So what we're going to do is over here on this one, we'll go oak right here. and Or I'm sorry, I'm saying oak. I mean spruce. That's spruce, not oak. And I think then over here we'll do white. I think just that little bit of a mix a mixture will be good, and let's do right here. So that is three tall on that, Okay. Now we need to start thinking about a little bit more roof design. We're gonna go right across here. That's gonna be hidden by a roof, I'm sure. So uh, speaking of that, that's gonna be hidden by a roof. Let's do a little roof here. Let's do a roof over on this way, right about here. So then again, we're gonna do a little triangle. You go one in and then you just step it up just like that easy. And this is gonna give you a really cool roof design. This is how I build. This is how I build every house I do. I don't go in with a real solid plan. I go in with a basic concept and a footprint. That's that's how I do it. That's how I do every single house. Now, looking at this now, here is the current uh, footprint as it stands right now. I think we can even make it a little bit more interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up even more. We're going to go up this layer, one, two, three, four, and then come across. And the reason why I pick four is because one, two, three, four going across here is taller than this. So that way, if I put roofing up there, it's not going to conflict, right? It makes a lot of sense, I think. Okay, so we'll just go over here and, oops, right up there. Very nice. Yeah, this shape is really turning out cool. I love all these different roofs. And, and things like that. I think it just really makes a huge difference. So, um, and we're going to be detailing this a lot with a lot of windows and a lot of stairs going into the windows. So all these big giant blocks of, of white won't be big giant blocks of white eventually, right? So we're going to fill in all of this, the third floor, this little tower, all with, with white right there. And then what we're going to do over here, we're going to do, that's right, you guessed it. You knew what was coming. It's going to be a stair right over here. So again, we're going to go little triangle here, little triangle there. Generally, I would like to probably mix up roof shape or roof type, but we're not going to do that on this one. Now, you know, for this city that I want to build here, because this is uh, going to be my tutorial world, instead of a flat world, I decided to do it this way. I want to do something that is a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a little bit of a style thing that we may repeat in several of the different buildings. When it comes to a tower, if I can get a symmetrical tower in some place, I think we're going to do this. This could be a kind of cool look. So you see from the edges, I'm going to put all uh, stairs going up, and we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to go up and one, two, Oh, ah, that, that's a slab. Okay, like that. So uh, all the way around. And then once we get up this, then I'll show you the, the next step, which is going to be basically we're going to curve in all of these. Now, this is a style that I have been doing for, for some time because it's a nice way to deal with the square roofs. Square roofs are actually kind of tricky. Uh, then what we're going to do is one, two. So we go stair like this. Stair in, upside down stair, stair in upside down stair and then before we go up again we do one two one two and then here we can just connect the two stairs kind of like that right now this roof so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reverse the trim i'm going to show you that in just a sec 
All right, now the way I want to do this is I want to have the same base down here as I have trim up there. And that's a, we're going to be a way to keep this very, very simple. Uh, another way would do, be to have a different color of trim for around here and a different base. But I want to keep this palette fairly small. So the palette is basically spruce, white, and whatever this third thing is. I think this third thing is probably going to be a cobblestone, smooth stone mix. Make it look like it's been around for a little while. So we'll just go smooth stone and we will just go cobblestone and fill it in basically so all the all these things where we did this is just going to be boop, 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 like the whole way across and we go right up to the ceiling so right up like to there okay after you have all that filled in and what i generally do and i know this isn't the most time consuming or, or this isn't the most time efficient way to do it, it is the most time consuming way is to fill the whole thing in one color and then come back in and and change out the alternating block I just did a nice mixture here. So you can do gradients, which would mean you would start with all cobblestone and then with all smooth stone, kind of feather it up. I just kind of felt like, like in this particular build, just a mixture would be just fine. And then what I want to do basically is I want to take the trim and I, I'm going to go trim. I'm going to go the same thing. I'm going to go a mixture of just these blocks. And if you hate it, cool you can do a different block that's the beauty of minecraft do dark oak dark oak's a great one and, but you know i just wanted to try this one just to keep it in this cobblestone stone and spruce uh and white look that was that was the goal and i'm just going really random here and you're just going to go every other block right up like this every other direction rather and just build it up like so and let's just take a look so this is going to tie into that i think that's going to be kind of cool and these are all starter materials that you can get very very quickly in your first day outside of probably this if you don't if you don't have this then you can use you know oak or, or a different a different wood that's not spruce i think for the for the white birch maybe something like that could be totally cool up here i wanted to use the trim so basically down there i have i'm using the stone for trim the spruce for wood up here i'm using the spruce for trim and the the stone for for the the, the main roof and i think that is kind of cool i don't think that it, i'm reinventing the wheel here necessarily but um i think it's a cool look i think it's a cool look. let me finish the trim i'm gonna do the trim all around all these different sort of peaked roofs and then we'll move on to the next stage a couple more things to sort of wrap up the the beginning part the pre-detailing part of this build is we're gonna have to fill this in with a different color i, I didn't want to introduce another color to the palette though that would be fine i think if if i wanted to i think if i were building this on one of my two survival worlds i probably would to be totally honest but for this purposes of this build of the tutorial style we're just going to keep it just like this we're going to keep it nice and tidy and just use uh, the pa the colors that we already have basically established so we'll just use the white and fill this in and then uh punch a hole to get out and eventually that's going to become a window anyway so we're just going to leave it just like that okay now you may notice down here i didn't do it yet it's because i want to use spruce i think i think that the best thing is going to be to use spruce so i want to use uh, a mixture of two things i want to use spruce i'm going to use some strip logs and i want to use some uh some planks that's going to be the goal here so we're going to go right up here and again this is you fill the whole thing in and then i'll put in a couple strip logs facing different directions that i think should be quite nice so we'll just go up here like this and let's see something like that something like that maybe something face that one that direction i think facing these different different ways is really clutch for this and uh that one's probably gonna turn into a window anyway but that's all right and then we'll do that and let's do that okay that's a nice that's a nice little look see how nice that is and then what we're gonna do is up here because this is a again this is a spruce uh wall every time we have a spruce wall we're gonna change throw in some of these strips because i think it just is a, it's just a good look okay now the next thing to do is start working on where the window placement is going to be and how we're going to do it so we have to pick a glass you can add a little bit of a depth to your glass like you can do something like this i i like to do that I like to do that a lot. It just gives us something of interest in just what would normally just be a glass wall. So what we're gonna do, another thing here, a lot of you are putting a door right there. That's That used to be the way I would do it. Now I'm gonna put a door over on the side because that allows for a window here like this. If you put this in the middle, then it's really difficult to get a window in that doesn't look bad. So let's do a window here and 
like that. So, so again, on all this little side, this is how we're doing it on this little thing. Now over here, a couple interesting choices. We could use, if we wanted to do, we could just do a straight window like this. We, we don't need the stairs. I actually like to add in the stairs because I think that adds in just a little bit of color. It looks like the window has been framed. Also, you can add in shutters, something like that. This is our white glass in our texture bag. If you're wondering what this, what this beautiful texture is, is that the same? No, it's not. Is that a big deal? No, it's not. So in this one, we're going to drop down one because that way what we're going to do is we're going to frame this guy in just like that. Give that a little bit of decoration. Over here, I think what we'll do is we'll do basically the same thing, but with two windows here, right here on the ground like that. And I finally set up a command block. If you notice it changing today, I finally remembered to set up a command block, so I don't have to, I don't have to force, force it. I think that is okay. I think that's all right. Cause then up here we have some, we have some work to do up here. We're gonna do some, something up here that's gonna be, I think kind of interesting to really frame this in. So see what we're doing right here. We're not doing a full porch. It's not gonna be a full thing. It's gonna be like this. So we're gonna grab some fence. And I think now it's time to introduce some dark oak. I think we're gonna do some dark oak right there and right there and right there. And these are gonna be part of how we light things up. If you have access early game, if you're doing the survival, if you have access early game to lanterns, this would be a great spot for lanterns. I think that's probably what we'll use. Let's grab a lantern and we'll just put it right there. It's just a cool look. Add them adding lanterns to the game has been a godsend. It's been absolutely amazing. Going around here, we're just gonna do this and this, and we're gonna go there and there, and then we're gonna grab slabs and go up across there just to frame that off so it's, so it's a different texture going up. Back here, a little bit more complicated. Let's take two right here and go two right here. And we're gonna go glass and glass. That'll be just fine. And right here, I think we'll just go here and here and here. And again, glass. We're just gonna keep things as consistent as we possibly can. In the back, I don't know what you wanna do. It all depends. This is the less scenic part of it. So if you want, you could do something like this and go, there i think that's probably nice keeps everything lit up keeps the mobs back a little bit um you you could do something like here you could go every other that's an okay way to do it or you could go a big one you know uh you know i i want to show you one thing that i like to do sometimes that could or potentially not be super super popular if you love it awesome if you don't that is also totally cool so i like to mix in full planes and and glass paints i think it just gives a little bit of interest i think it's kind of cool so what we can do is come in here and come in there i think that just makes it look like this like there was a reflection a little bit you know i it's it's cool that's a lot of glass i probably wouldn't do that much windows in if i were building this like for real probably i, I think that's probably a little overkill but you know for our purposes today we can just leave it just as is up here, I think we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're just gonna go two, keep the glass right there, and up here again two. Or keep the keep the keep the uh, uh, not stairs because what I want to do is I want to start adding some flower boxes. Flower boxes are great. You can just put them in anywhere, and they immediately make things look really, really, really nice. Uh, shutters are great as well. That's a really nice uh, thing you can add two but but you know sometimes it, i like to mix them in like here maybe here we'll do shutters so why don't we do shutters? so you place a block here and put it facing down and then over here uh you can do this so you that way you can have shutters both open open and close i think it i think works really well uh sometimes you know sometimes open sometimes close mix it up uh up there we'll just do that and let's do on this one let's do a flower box oops a flower box as well and i just i just went with the red because you know it, it, it doesn't matter i thought that would i thought that would play really nicely in this little area here and we'll just enclose the entire thing in trap doors another option if you wanted to you could do down here you could do stairs it, so I, I like to do either just depending on if i feel like i need that extra depth on the bottom or not it doesn't really it doesn't really matter that much here, nothing. We're just gonna leave that completely plain. And over here, let's do uh, let's do a flower box here again. Uh, it's kind of opposite the other one. I'm I'm not super into symmetrical anymore. I used to be uh, into making everything exactly the same, but uh, yeah, not so not so much anymore. But I think in this case, I think it works kind of well. Maybe just one. Yeah, cool. All right. So I, what I like about this, I like there's a flower box there and a flower box down there. I think that is a helpful helpful look if you're looking at it from here. It doesn't look exactly the same. Over here, we're just gonna do a single window there and or a double window there and a single window right there and i think what we'll do is we'll just do put it on this side we'll do it one and we'll put it on this where we just do another yeah that's okay uh is this going to work really uh, not great it's not going to be it's not going to work great we could do this i guess we probably should to make that shutter work 
Yeah, I guess it's fine. It doesn't. It, it's okay. It doesn't really matter that much again. Okay, let's do over here. We're gonna grab one more of these guys and bring some fence over and bring some fence over there. And we need a way into our second floor so we can go out and grab a door. How about how about a dark oak door? I like I, I, now now that we're now that the uh, basically the 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 uh, the training wheels are off and we're bringing in the dark oak. I think it's a really 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 nice look. Okay, we will just throw a lantern right there. Keep this place lit up. And that is a nice little balcony. Look over your bill. See, it's starting to come together very quickly. I mean, man, very, very quickly. This Once you start adding the detailing in, it does not take long to put something like this together at all. Okay, we'll just do one of those. That's kind of cool. Look at this build. Is this, not, is this not a beautiful starter house? I would say at this point now, probably, we're very close to done. We just need to grab a couple more windows. So I'm just, you've seen me do the windows now. I'm just going to do them basically the exact same way. And uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're bringing leaves. Um, leaves are, are, are critical in Minecraft. <laughs> they are absolutely crucial. Here, we're just going to do this. This is going to be kind of a, you know what we're going to do? I lied. We're going to take this whole thing out. We're going to do this. We're going to do, uh, do a little walkout window. So what we're going to do, we're going to go out one and get rid of this and we're gonna do let's see another in here full block in here and then we're gonna go panes oh that's gonna be cool that's gonna be really cool and then we'll do trap doors right there so right there and there trap doors and then we're gonna do slabs right there and there now that's gonna be back here we probably need something else a little bit better so let's go stairs and let's go stairs over there and slabs over there okay did you catch all that i think it's all right if eh, another way we could do it actually we could turn these stairs in inside i think that's going to give it a little bit more curvature yeah it does it does give it a little bit more, cur more curve that's nice that's really nice down here i think we could just do anything we could do anything with windows that we want really it, or no or no windows sometimes no windows in the basement level to be totally honest i, th I think a lot of basements don't have windows uh, moisture and whatever else but let's do this one no stairs and let's do nothing over there okay now the last and probably most important thing is going to be leaves here's what i like to do i like to do two leaves at this point uh i almost never just do one leaf so i think oak and uh spruce work really well they're really different colors and let's do that so we're just going to go up and up and up and oh, and just sprinkle them kind of like like that and if you mix them in really well man it looks like it looks like some some are a little newer some are a little older it just is a beautiful look isn't that nice isn't nice and you don't want to go crazy that that you know i so i can go crazy i can go crazy one a big big problem in my builds is that i can go leaf crazy because like hey if some leaves are good lots of leaves are better right no not really that's not really the case but i can get i can go a little overboard for sure I go i i don't mind going right over windows at all put a little bit in the ground there that's fine okay that's good and let's go around the other side i think we're good over here probably just in the back in the back because because we have these fairly ugly windows that aren't aren't super great i kind of wish that uh we hadn't done so many but i'm gonna leave it because we talked about it already let's go over here here and here that'll be really nice how about a double thing here and then another thing you can do to add is add a couple every once in a while add a fence um, and so it looks like that th these are like really big branches right like these these are big branches for the for the uh uh uh, you know, I don't know, like hanging, hanging leaves and stuff. It looks like they have actual like meat, meaty, girthy branches there. Anyway, that is going to do it for our tutorial. That's going to do it for my first tutorial in, wow, years, years and years and years. If you want to see more, then all you have to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when I go live. I do a lot of live streams on YouTube, not on Twitch, on YouTube. So if you want to see it, then you got to check it out, okay? Uh, we're not going to do the interiors on these, you know, that would be a pretty rough tutorial. Maybe, maybe a different day. If you really want it, leave it in, leave it in a comment. But, but I think that for, for a little starter house is not too shabby. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye everybody.